Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. So I've told a few of y'all about these coins I recently acquired on this job I'm doing, this mold job. Um, y'all seen the comic books. I just made a video of my baseball cards I'm gonna upload later. But I also acquired a lot of coins. Um, this is a mold job and I was tasked with throwing everything in the dumpster and I kept trying to give stuff back to these people. And eventually one of them told me, Bucky, we already told you we don't want nothing. Everything goes in the dumpster, okay. You know, there's no way. Um, I'm throwing the stuff in the dump for you now, but um, here's the first thing I, I came across as far as coins go. The Vanishing America, um, Frederick Remington, Indian Warfare. I don't, I'm assuming this like in, as in Remington Guns, but um, this is the first thing I came across as far as uh, score artwork too, as far as um, coins go. And um, I threw away a ton of artwork up to this point, but I seen these coins, I'm like, well, that's not going to a dumpster, you know? Um, Buffalo nickels and Indian head pennies. Pretty cool, y'all. Um, my buddy told me these were proof coins. I, mean, I thought he meant like replicas. I don't know. Um, I guess they're the first ones to come off the mint. I reckon. So, seems like they're making more valuable. Um, I've found a bunch of Buffalo nickels over the years. But I've never seen any in this good condition. I guess they're in proof. Like I said, the first ones off the mint. They're in mint condition. So, that's awesome. That's really cool. That's really cool, but I seen a bunch of similar. I thought it might have been like a one of a kind thing, but I seen a bunch of similar ones on Google for sale uh, um, on eBay, and I guess they were mass produced. I don't know, but uh, pretty cool, y'all. Never seen buffalo nickels in such good condition. That's cool. Okay, that's the first thing I came across coin wise, but I threw away dozens and dozens of boxes with hundreds and hundreds of books. Not looking in them, you know, so stuff started flying out of the dumpster. And uh, actually, I seen this coin book first. I was like, that's cool. I want to keep that. You know, and I thought this was just another coin book. Um, and I was about to throw it in the dumpster. And because um, it's so tattered and stuff. And I was looking at the, about to throw it in the dumpster. And then I see actual coins inside it. <laughs> these are all foreign coins. Check these out, y'all. Check these out. Pretty cool, huh? From all over the world, you get the Bahamas, Austria, Australia. Um, there's so much just rat poop all over this stuff. I had to clean rat poop all over these, and it was covered in mold. I wiped them down, but I need to put all these in a new book. Belgium, 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 Bermuda. Got Canada, bunch of Canada coins. There's hundreds of coins in here, I believe. Um, Republic of China. Uh, there's a five dollar piece, 1970, China. Um, the oldest ones in here, though. Bunch of them, from all the world. I'm trying to get to the oldest one. Sorry, sorry. Republic of China. Um, look at these Asian coins. These are freaking cool, ain't they? Cool as shit, man. I don't know if these are worth anything, but still freaking cool, man. I, t I found a foreign coin years ago when I was treasure hunting, and I took it to a nearby antique dealer. And he was like, Well, good luck trying to fill up foreign coins because nobody wants to collect those. And I was like, Okay, well, maybe these. Aren't worth a lot of money, but still cool. I told my brother I was gonna split them with him. All these. I haven't got to the Amer I got American points too, y'all. I'm waiting for some. Hold on. Um, France, West Germany, West Germany. Did I skip over all those ones? I might have. Hold on. I think I did. Um, France, Germany, uh, Great Britain. Okay, let me go back for a second, y'all. I was going to show you the oldest ones. Hold on. Okay, I must have skipped over them, I guess. Okay, yeah, right here. Uh, from the 1700s. That's old, y'all. That's hundreds of years old. From 1800s, 1700s. 1700s. I believe that's Vietnamese right there. I'm not sure. Freaking cool, y'all. Huh. Yeah. 
from all over the world. I don't know if they're worth anything. Like I said, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know anything about coins. I've been watching this one coin channel uh, for the past few months. The Coin Channel Tube. Great channel, y'all. It makes a lot of shorts. So these uh, little indiscrepancies in these American coins that uh, make them worth a lot of money. I'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, pretty cool, y'all. Pretty cool. Okay. And I, I might have, like I said, I might have threw dozens of those away before I realized where I was throwing away. I realized I was throwing away coins like, no freaking way, you know? But then I came across these. Yeah, I did not even look at I looked at one. It was like half full. But I was like, I'm not throwing those in dumpster. I didn't even look at these until I got home. I didn't have time. You know, but some, um, some good stuff in here. Here's some Indian scents, y'all. Um, there's 20-something in here. Indian head panties. Um, this is the oldest one I got is from 1859. There's 1881. Okay, it's 20 something in all. I wish it was completely full, but this is pretty cool, man. Before this, I mean, the only Indian head I found an Indian head pitting when I was a kid is like 1890 in my neighborhood. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. These are pretty cool. I know some with uh. Could be worth a lot of money. I know the 1888, my eyes ain't too good at all anymore, y'all. I can't see. But at the last eight, is oddly shaped. It could be worth a lot of money. I haven't really looked at it. Cause, cause my eyes are so bad, it's hard to see. But, uh, a lot of Indian head pennies, y'all. That's cool. A lot of Indian head pennies. Lincoln Scents. Um, there's Buffalo Nickels. Um... I had a collection of Buffalo Nickels that I actually spent them last year <laughs> on cigarettes. I was completely broke, so I spent my, um, in my Buffalo Nickels. Um, I wish it was full, but, no. Nope. I mean, look how good a shape those are in compared to these. <laughs> you know, that's cool, man. Yeah, I need to see which Buffalo Nickels are worth the most and look through these. See if I got any. That's cool. Um, Liberty Head Nickels. I've never in my life had a Liberty Head Nickel. So I, I found these. There's nine Liberty Heads. The oldest one is from 1884. But yeah, I've never had one in my possession until now. Now I got nine of them. The oldest, from, the oldest ones from 1884. Pretty cool, y'all. Pretty dang cool. Uh, more Lincoln Sense. A lot of these are just half full, you know. Here's the um, Eisenhower dollars. There's um, four, um, six of them in all, one by Centennial. Which is cool. Pretty cool, y'all. Just them alone. If I just don't notice, I was like, holy cow. Look at I got all these, man. Pretty dang cool, y'all. Lincoln Sands. Um Yeah, I wouldn't have worried so recently that the 1944 still penny is worth uh, I don't know if it's just every still penny or just one with a uh, misprint or something. It's worth a lot of money. I was hoping I had that. I don't know. Um there's uh I got three of the 1943 still pennies, and I got in three more and another thing. Um, would that 44 look still like that one does? Or um, I wonder if I could put a magnet to it and find out if it's still. If it is, is it worth a lot of money, or does it have to have a misprint or something like that? I don't know, but I might ask a coin. Um, maybe I'll ask that coin channel, dude. His name's uh, the Coin Channel Tube. Great channel, y'all. should check him out. Maybe I'll ask him to look at this. I don't know. Tell me if I got any unusual coins in here. Here's the halves. Lincoln halves. Um, I wish it would have been full, but still a lot of them in here. And I'm pretty sure I got two uh, 1972s right here. And from what I uh, learned from watching that guy's channel, I think there's a... Uh, on the back of them, there should be like an F FG mark maybe or something like that under the wing. And if it's not there, they could be worth a couple hundred bucks a piece. So possibly just for those two coins, like, you know, three, four hundred bucks right there. Just for the, those, here's a bicentennial. Got a bunch of bicentennials. I found one um, the other day sweeping up. Bicentennial quarter. 
which is cool. It's pretty neat. Um, of course, a lot, a lot of these aren't in here, you know. There's another Lincoln Sense. Oh. You know, I got three of these. Um, yeah, there's like three more still pennies right there. 43 still pennies. There's 44, 44D. Do, 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 do. Pretty cool, y'all. Pretty cool. Um, Roosevelt Dimes. You know, a lot of these aren't in here, so. Roosevelt Dimes. Bomb missing. I think I got two of these Roosevelt Dimes, though. Anyway, um, and, um, there was just all kinds of loose change, too. I was, uh, this wasn't even in, I got this off the floor. This wasn't even in the pack. It was laying beside it. It's the Martin Luther King Collector's Coin. And I put it back in the pack, saved it. I don't know what this, somebody made that. Maybe it looks like it's seemed to <laughs> glued it together. So I don't know. But I was showing all kinds of loose stuff in here. I found this thing. Um, there's a fossil watch. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a bunch of coins in here. Just old medals. And a lot of coins in here. Look at that old money clip. That's cool. That's cool. Um, a lot of coins in here. Pins. Um... A lot of these coins were made into necklaces. I'm wearing a 71 um, half dollar around my neck right now that I got out of here. A lot of these were made into necklaces. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know what. I don't know what's. Oh, that's Green River whiskey or something. I don't know. Here's like a. Um, I think it's an NRA metal into a necklace. A few more made into a necklace, necklace in here, I think. Oh, these, um, I also learned from watching that guy's channel that a lot of these, uh, Sacagawea, uh, coins from 2000 are worth a lot of money. Or one in particular is like a, um, uh, the mint messed up and it put like a, a quarter on the back of these. That's, if you find the one with the palm trees on the back. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a hundred thousand dollar coin. So keep an eye on these um on these y'all when you find them. <laughs> you might have one with a lot of money. I don't know if I get any you know any big money here of these or not, but it's cool, you know. Still cool regardless. Like I said, I'm gonna split them my brother, so um, my eyes are bad, y'all. I don't even know what this is. I uh, maybe one of y'all know. My eyes are so bad. Pretty cool. There's another one made into a necklace. Um, it's one penny, 1962, one penny. Elizabeth. Elizabeth II. Is that the one that just died? Was it Elizabeth II? Queen Elizabeth? No. Mm -hmm. it is i got a lot of cool stuff y'all um look at art <laughs> this is cool i don't know what this is supposed to be i thought it might be faust maybe i don't know I see the horns uh, i don't know if there's horns or not but that is an amazing piece of art in my opinion i spent a lot of time staring at this <laughs> so freaking cool that is freaking cool i got a lot of cool stuff y'all a lot of cool stuff that's safe from the dumpster I'm glad I went through some of them boxes before throwing the dumpster, but there's no telling what I threw away before that. I've got these two. These are four coins, I believe. I don't know what all is in there. It's Mexico. And there's a bag of nickels back in these. You know, I don't know what all is in there either. I have no idea. But I thought some of y'all might be interested in seeing these. And, um, like I said, maybe I'll get somebody to watch this and tell me um, what to look out for. You know, a lot of this stuff ain't in here, but still cool, man. Still cool. All right, y'all. That's over 14 minutes. I'm going to let y'all go. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you have a good weekend. Have a blessed week. Uh, good lucky. Happy hunting. Love y'all.